Hi, this is Aaron from Papercut Support, and I am going to talk to you today about setting up a release station in your environment. Now, this is basically a low-end workstation that's just running the release station software so that when users send their print jobs to a hold and release queue, they can walk up to the print release station, sign in with their Papercut credentials, and allow their jobs to continue onto the printer. Now, there are a few reasons why you may want to set this up. For one, it's a great way to save on paper and toner. It prevents users from just sending multiple copies of a print job to the printer and then not claiming it. Uh, it's also a great way to implement secure printing. Say if you have people printing out sensitive documents, but they didn't want the document to print out at the printer until they were there physically in the room with the print job. And then it can also be a way to set up delegated print release. This would be handy if you had either a library or an internet cafe and you only wanted to allow printing once a user has already paid for the cost of the printed document. To start, we can find all the files we need for the installation by browsing to the file share on the Papercut server. Open up the folder called PC Release, then find the PC release executable. We'll want to create a shortcut for this, and then copy it to the user startup folder on the computer that we want to turn into the release station. Once it's there, we'll reboot the computer and make sure that it automatically opens up the Release Station app on login. You may also want to configure your Release Station to skip the login screen in Windows and to automatically log into a standard user account with limited rights. This will prevent users from tampering with the system. For this demonstration, I'm using Windows 10, but other operating systems such as Windows 7 and Mac OS can be used as well. Once our test computer restarts and logs back in, we should see the release station software pop up and take over the whole screen. The release station window should appear in a moment, but before finishing, we're going to close that and configure a few security settings on this computer. There's plenty of ways to configure security in Windows, but an easy way to do this is to open up the local policy editor by clicking Start, then Run, then type gpedit.msc and click OK. Then we're going to open User Configuration, Administrative Templates, System, then Control Alt Delete Options, and we want to enable each of the following settings Remove Task Manager, Remove Lock Computer, Remove Change Password, and Remove Log Off. Beware the phrasing of these settings. We want to enable the remove task manager setting to actually remove task manager. After you're done with each, click apply and then exit out of the local group policy editor. Next, we have to configure Papercut to hold print jobs so that they can be released by the user at the release station. To do that, we log into the Papercut admin console. We open up printers and we select a printer and then we scroll down to the hold and release queue settings section and we check the box that says enable hold and release queue. Note that here is where we can set the mode as manager release, but for now we're leaving it as the default, which is user release mode. For the settings to take effect, we need to scroll down to the bottom of the page and click apply. Now, if we want to apply the setting to the rest of the printers in our fleet, we would choose copy settings to other printers, then we want to select which printers we want to apply the settings to and scroll down and select copy release station settings. Then we'll click copy down at the bottom. And now that setting has been applied to the rest of the printers. Before going any further, Let's test the configuration by sending a job to the printer. So just click File, Print, select the printer that has the hold and release queue enabled, and then let's walk over to our release station and sign in as the user that sent the job. Now we can see the job is being held for release, and after we click Print, the action changes to queuing, and the job disappears as it's sent to the printer. Note that users can also either print or cancel print jobs, and they can do so individually or in bulk.
Lastly, we're going to talk about some of the advanced configuration options found in the config.properties file. This file is located in the same file share on the PaperCut server as the print release executable. Now I'm going to show you a few things about the Release Station app that can be modified by editing this file. For example, we can tell the Release Station which hold and release queues to show jobs from. By default, it's going to show jobs from all queues. A bit further down, we have the option to show or hide the user's current balance. Then we have options to enable alternative sign-in methods like card readers, pins, or anonymous logins. Down here we can customize the text and colors in the release station interface and even specify a path for our own organization's logo. Further down in the document, we can configure the Find Me print settings, where if we had a global queue or virtual print queue, we could specify which printers we want the print release station to send jobs to. This is useful if you have a virtual queue set up and now need to let the release station know which printers are in the same room. PaperCut will automatically load balance the jobs among the printers in this list, taking into account factors like whether the printer is in an air state or how many pages per minute the printer can handle. Take special care that you get the syntax right. For each printer, it should be server name, double backslash, printer name. Like that. Down below, there are a few other settings in here that you can fine tune, like the login timeout period. Feel free to have a look for yourself to see some of the other options.